So quite a few months ago, I made a video not recommending this graphics card right here. This is the P106, which was a mining variant of the GTX 1066 gigabyte. It came with pretty much all the same hardware at the base level, except there were some key differences, the most notably being the no display options, or in cases of some of these cards, limited display options at the rear of the card. But at the core, it was also a P106 on a firmware level. And this means there was a different card in its makeup and that it wasn't intended for gaming and strictly for mining. So the benefit to these cards at the time was that they were cheaper for miners to bulk buy brand new off the shelves as opposed to the GTX 1066 gigabytes, which had options that miners simply didn't need. But in hindsight, I believe they probably should have bought those 1060 gaming editions because the resale value of these is simply terrible compared to the gaming variant. Anyhow, fast forward a few months and we're gonna be putting this card back on the test bench and trying to get it to work properly and seeing the conclusion on whether you should buy one or not. But also Linus did make a video after I made my initial video where he did get this to work. And the thing I really liked about that video was that Linus did prove a point. And that was if Nvidia wanted these to work, they could definitely allow them to work in the hands of gamers. But at least with the Nvidia that we all know, this probably wasn't going to be a possibility. <clears throat> Simple reason being money. Regardless of that, let's take this P106, put it on the test bench, and try to get it working in a variety of titles, including Apex Legends. But before we do get on with testing the P106, have you ever been targeted by a hacker? If you haven't, then you actually may have and you just haven't known about it. With today's video sponsor NordVPN, you can now protect yourself on the internet. Basically how a VPN works is that you connect with your ISP to the VPN and then from there no one can see your true IP address, which protects your identity online and also on top of that it protects your data from the ISPs since it does encrypt the data on the way back. That means you are now completely safe and anonymous on the internet which will help you protect yourself against those predators. And the best news is NordVPN are offering Tech Yes City viewers 75% off if you sign up via nordvpn.com slash techyescity, you'll also get a free month included, making it only $2.99 a month. I've tried this service, it checks out, the speeds are really good, they've got multiple servers worldwide, and the best thing is it's quick and easy to set up. Links in the description below. Let's get back to that P106. So we've now finished the testing and there's some good and bad news with the P106. And first of all, big shout out to the Linus Tech Tips forums. Uh, the users in there like Anthony and also a user named Dart Raiden, these guys know their stuff. And in the case of Dart Raiden, he made a very easy workaround that is the easiest I've found to date. And the good thing about it is you don't have to turn off any test signing or anything like that. So this will work with competitive multiplayer titles. In the case of the P106 I had here, I actually got two of them here. I managed to get it working on Dota 2, CSGO, and also Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege with really good FPS, and nothing was working out of the ordinary. However, the bad news with this is this fix is only available up until the 417.22 driver. After that, Nvidia cracked down on it and stopped allowing it to work. And it's a very easy fix. All you have to do to get it to work is download that official driver and then simply delete a registry key, disable and then re-enable this device, and then in your graphics settings from Windows, make the application high performance mode so it can then utilize the GPU power. I'll put the link in the description below for Dart Raiden's video where he shows it in a simple step-by-step -step manner. Anyway, all that aside, this mining card right here, it can work and it can work well coupled with certain CPUs and motherboards. And this is where the bad news is going to begin because even on the forum and that thread alone, there's people reporting that second and third gen Intel CPUs, this fix won't work. 
And then there's also another report of ASUS fourth generation motherboards not working. So apparently in order to get this fixed to work, you have to have a fourth gen Intel CPU or better. Any pre-Ryzen APU this won't work on, as well as second and third gen Intel CPUs. Also on top of that, since Nvidia have stopped making this work on the newest drivers, it then raises the question of support for newer titles. When I went back and tested Apex Legends, it ran horribly. The screen blacked out at times, and also the FPS was all over the place, to the point where it just wasn't a smooth experience. So for anyone out there that wants to get awesome used price performance and just play Apex Legends with their friends, I'd recommend you seriously consider getting an RX 570, which can be had for very cheap at the moment on the used market. But now it's time to go back and reference my original video where I tried to get this working and I did get it working up until the stage where I was using the unsigned driver and I tried to load up Rainbow Six Siege and that stopped working and then I loaded up Dota 2 and it was working for like 10 seconds and then it dropped out and I could no longer get the card working again. So I based my recommendation on that video to the fact that you were just going to have nothing but problems. Fast forward a few months and there is a much easier fix that will allow you to play the older multiplayer titles with ease. But if you want to play newer titles, that's where you're going to come into some problems because the driver support has been locked out by NVIDIA from 417.22. And so that now leaves me with a recommendation that pretty much doesn't differ a whole lot to that original video. And in Linus's video, he said as well, he strictly doesn't recommend anyone go out and do this. It was just simply to prove a concept. And as we said in the intro, that was that it could work if Nvidia wanted it to work. And clearly Nvidia doesn't want this to work simply because they probably wanna sell new graphics cards and there's a lot of these on the used market. But that being said, if you are on an extreme budget and you wanna get the most value for money possible and you don't want to play titles that were released in 2019 onwards, then this may be an option worth considering. However, do keep in mind that any configuration is not guaranteed if this could work. As we saw in that thread, a lot of people were reporting various issues with different hardware configurations. Some people got it to work flawlessly. And in the case of today's video, I managed on my current configuration to get it working, but that's a Z390 motherboard with a 9900K. So your mileage may vary. And with that said, I'd tread lightly with these graphics cards. I've also used two different P106s in today's video. So you don't have to go and buy one off Taobao to get this to work. Uh, they don't need to be custom modded. And in fact, I believe Tom's Hardware in Germany tried to get an external vBIOS programmer and try and flash on a GTX 1066 gigabyte to which they kind of didn't really succeed. It was still a P106 at the core. So it's almost impossible to uh, change these into a GTX 1060. And also if you're into reselling PCs, then I wouldn't consider this an option. You're potentially giving someone a lot of headaches, especially when this graphics card right here, as we said before, the RX 570s and 470s, they can be had for very cheap. I'll leave some links in the description below for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button, and also let us know in the comment section below what you think of the P106 and Nvidia locking this graphics card out. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. But also, don't forget to check out today's video sponsor, NordVPN, where you get a special discount for Tech Yes City viewers. Links in the description below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.